Hailsham is a civil parish and the largest of the five towns in the Wealdon district of East Sussex, England. It is mentioned in the Doomsday Book, where it is called Hamelsham. The town of Hailsham has a history of industry and agriculture. Etymology The name Hailsham is thought to come from the Saxon Hegel's Ham, meaning the clearing or settlement of Hegel, Hella or a similar name. Possibly even, I, Ella's Ham, the clearing of I, Ella the Saxon. The name of the town has been spelt in various ways through the ages from Hamelsham, Ailsham in the 13th century, and later Hailsham, to its present spelling. History The site of Hailsham has been inhabited since at least the Neolithic Age. It was an ancient British settlement that existed before the Romans invaded Kent and Sussex in 43 AD. The Anglo-Saxons invaded Sussex in the year 477 AD. The Saxons are thought to have invaded it an original landing place at Selsey. According to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, in 491 AD they attacked and took the British stronghold of Anderida which was the fort that is believed to have been built by the ancient British and the Romans at what is now Pevensey, just a few miles from Hailsham, thereby consolidating their conquest and forming the small kingdom of the South Saxons, or Sussex. In Roman and Saxon times, the lowland marsh area between Anderida and the site of Hailsham, today known as the Pevensey Levels, is presumed to be unreclaimed at that time, so that much of the levels would have been a salt marsh and at high tide, a lagoon. The link between Hailsham and the levels is preserved in the name of the access routes such as Marshfoot Lane and Salt Marsh Lane. The manor of Hailsham is recorded in the Doomsday Survey completed by the Normans in 1086, 20 years after the conquest. There was some activity in this part of Sussex during the baronial wars and in the armed rivalry between Matilda and Stephen. During the 17th century civil war between Charles I and Parliament, Hailsham and this part of Sussex declared against the royalist cause. Little is known of the town of Hailsham before the 1086 Doomsday Book, but evidence of a Roman road from Leap Cross across the common indicates some occupation prior to this. Market town status Henry III granted the town a market charter in 1252. Originally, the market was held in the High Street and in Market Square, only moving to its present location in 1868. Sheep and cattle were driven from miles around along the various ancient droves until the arrival of the railway station and motor lorries. Today, the weekly livestock markets together with the monthly farmer's market continue whilst stall markets are held weekly in the town centre on Saturdays or Thursdays. Dates of significance Hailsham was an ancient British settlement that existed before the Romans invaded Kent and Sussex in 43 AD. The Anglo-Saxons invaded Sussex in the year 477 AD, 1154-1189. Sir Richard Cubbett of Bradbridge was lord of the manor of Hailsham, 1228. Advowson of Hailsham Church granted to Michelin Priory, 1234. Saltpan workings extracted salt from the tidal waters, 1252. Henry III granted market charter to the royal favourite Peter of Savoy, 1263. Gilbert, son of Gilbert Godseb, drowned while bathing in Hailsham Pond, 1264. Benedict the Jew of Hailsham was outlawed, would have been religious persecution for clipping the king's coin, 1399-1413. Troy weights were introduced to the market. Early consumer protections move, 1425-1450. St. Mary's Church, Hailsham built, 1540-1640. Hailsham was one of the chief centres of leatherwork and tanning due to being a thriving cattle market town, 1542. Fleur de Lisin built in Market Street, 1559. Uprising of the inhabitants of Hailsham who burnt part of the church. 
1581, Manor of Hailsham, granted to Gregory, Lord Jacob of Hurstman Zoo, 1603, James VI of Scotland declared King of England, probably from the Market Cross in Market Square in Hailsham. 1663, first five bells cast for Hailsham Church at Bellbanks by John Hodson, 1708, Hailsham Vicarage built next to Parish Church, 1800, the stone cross in Market Square removed as being an obstacle to carts and wagons, 1803. Barracks established on Hailsham Common to house troops for the war with France, 1803. Grenadier Inn in High Street also built to meet needs of troops, 1804. New house built in George Street, 1807. Robe making, started by Thomas Burfield, 1827. National School built in South Road, Hailsham to replace one held in the church by church warden Francis Howlett. 1836. New Union Workhouse built a junction of Hellingley and Hailsham Parish boundaries. 1849. Hailsham Station and Railway Service to Polgate opened. 1855. As a result of an enclosure award on Hailsham Common, the recreation ground in Western Road was created. 1862. Hailsham Infant School built in the High Street. 1868. Market ceased to be held in High Street, Market Square, moved to New Walled in Sight in Market Street, 1878. Hailsham Board School built in Battle Road, 1880. Railway line extended northwards to Heathfield and Tunbridge Wells, 1885. Waterworks Company started supply from springs at Magham Down, 1894. Austin's gunshot burnt down where Victoria Gate now stands. 1895. First parish council elections. 1906. Hailsham Church obtained first pipe organ. 1907. Telephone exchange first installed in High Street. 1921. Hailsham War Memorial erected. 1943. Bomb fell near church destroying the auxiliary fire station with the loss of one life. 1951. Four of the Hailsham church bells were recast and all the bells rehung. 1965. Closure of the Cuckoo railway line to passenger traffic. 1974. Hailsham parish council adopted the status of town council. 1986. Major improvement works carried out to the 1.86-acre common pond site began, including the creation of a second central island. 1988, the Quintin's Shopping Centre in North Street opened to the public named after Quintin Hogg, Baron Hailsham of Marlebin. 1990, Cuckoo Trail opened to walkers, cyclists and horse riders. 1993, the Hailsham Pavilion Cinema and Theatre refurbished. 2000, the Hailsham Pavilion Cinema and Theatre reopened to the public via funds raised by the Hailsham Old Pavilion Society to restore the old cinema. 2010, the Dorge Hotel, formerly a premier hotel in the town and restored following fire damage, reopened as a public house by J.D. Weatherspoon Limited. 2012, Hailsham Market saved from development and operators Southeast Mart purchases the freehold of the site in Market Street, ending more than 15 years of uncertainty over the market's future. Hailsham Museum and Heritage Centre glimpses of the town's past are to be found in photographs and artefacts available for viewing at the Heritage Centre in Blackman's Yard, Market Street, which is run by members of the Hailsham Historical and Natural History Society. A small display is available to members of the public including period kitchen, farming and agriculture, local industry and wartime memorabilia. The Parish of Hailsham The Civic Parish of Hailsham is approximately three miles in breadth and four miles from north to south between its extreme points. Its boundary runs from its most northerly limit, near Carter Back, Quotes Corner Place, in a southerly direction around Magham Down.
over the Hurstman Zoo Road and crosses the low-lying farmlands, passing close to New Bridge and on across Horse Eye Level to Rickney. It then turns westwards taking an irregular course over the Glinley Level, across the Cuckoo Trail to the main Eastbourne Road, continuing northwards along this for about three-quarters of a mile until it goes west and north again to take in some of the woodlands around Cacklebury. It runs on the west side of the A22 in a northerly direction between Hailsham and the River Cookmere to Hempstead where it turns east to meet the A22. It then runs northwards to the point where the Cookmere crosses the A22 and follows the river eastwards to Horsebridge and the A271, on an irregular course eastwards, sometimes following the A271 and sometimes to the north of it until Amberston where it completes its delineation by a final straight mile along the line of the road to Carter's Corner Place. This includes the areas, which under the Wealdon Parishes Order 1991, were transferred to Hailsham being a large area of Hellingley Parish along with several smaller areas to the east, south and west. A further area of Hellingley Parish was transferred to Hailsham under the Wealdon Parish's Order 1993. Geography and Climate In the county of East Sussex, about six miles from the coast, and between the well-wooded hills of the southern forest ridge and the undulating chalk countryside of the South Downs, Hailsham is surrounded by much attractive and unspoilt scenery. Hailsham is the largest settlement in the southern half of the Wealdon district, and the largest inland town in East Sussex with around 8,500 homes and a population of just over 20,000. Location and accessibility Hailsham is 7 miles north of Eastbourne, 19 miles south of Tunbridge Wells, 14 miles west of Hastings, and 11 miles east of the county town of Lewis. London is some 48 miles away. Road. The A22 from London to Eastbourne passes through the parish north of where it intersects main roads from Kent and West Sussex, including the road through Haywards Heath and Horsham to Guildford, and links with roads from the M25 and the Midlands. Bus services link Hailsham with Lewis and Brighton, Uckfield, Polgate and Eastbourne, Battle, Bex Hill and Hastings. Rail. The nearest rail connection to Hailsham is at Polgate. Rail services operate from Eastbourne and Hastings to London, Ashford, Tunbridge Wells, Lewis, Gatwick Airport and Brighton. Air. Airline services operate from Gatwick Airport and Heathrow Airport reached via the M23 and M25 motorways. Demography and Statistics. Parish area. Approximately 5,000 acres. Population, approximately 20,500, measured at the 2011 census as 20,476. The published electoral roll for 1,999-2000 shows 14,873 recorded electors. Residential rates, for the year 2013-2014 this varies from band A at £1,111.55 through band D at £1,667.33 to band H at £3,334.66. Average house price. For the year 2012, £200,463. Crime Hailsham falls below the national average for reported robbery, burglaries and other criminal offences. Local, regional crime figures area governance and administration. In Hailsham, there are three tiers of local government which manage between them the majority of local community services and amenities. Town at the local level Hailsham is represented by Hailsham Town Council. The councillors are elected from four wards. Hailsham Central and North Ward, Hailsham East Ward, Hailsham South and West Ward and Upper Horsebridge Ward. Nigel Coltman was elected Town Mayor, Chairman in May 2015 and Amanda O'Rourke is the Deputy Town Mayor, Vice Chairman. District Hailsham is the home of Wealdon District Council. District Council elections are held every four years. 
55 councillors in total are elected, six of these from the three wards that make up Hailsham. The May 2011 election returned 47 Conservative, three Liberal Democrat, four Independent Democrat and one No Party Allegiance, non-group. County The next level of government is the East Sussex County Council with responsibility for education, libraries, social services, civil registration, trading standards and transport. For these elections Hailsham has combined with Hurstman Zoo to return two seats. Parliament Hailsham is in the Wealdon parliamentary constituency. At European level, Hailsham is represented by the South East region, which has 10 seats in the European Parliament. Economy Many years ago it became the market town for the prosperous surrounding agricultural district. There are local light industrial undertakings. Industry and commerce Hailsham was granted a charter to hold a market in 1252 by King Henry III. From 1997 to 2012, there was much controversy over the sale of Hailsham Cattle Market and its redevelopment into a supermarket. The land freehold was, until being sold to market operator Southeast Marts in January 2012, owned by supermarket chain Aldi who planned to build a supermarket on the site. Although the amended planning application was rejected by Wealdon District Council in November 2007, should the market have closed as a result of development, the nearest alternatives would have been in Ashford, Kent or Salisbury, Wiltshire. Local MP, Charles Hendry, the National Farmers Union among others spoke out against closure, and the public inquiry lodged by Aldi against the District Council's decision to refuse planning permission commenced on the 11th of February 2009 and ended on the 19th of February 2009. Hailsham's traditional industry was rope making, which included supplying ropes for public hanging to Great Britain and the colonies. Currently, light industry survives in two large industrial estates to the west of the town, located in Diplock's Way and Station Road, and several smaller ones including those situated in Hackhurst Lane and north of Old Swan Lane, all of which provide a source of employment for local residents. Shopping and retail Hailsham has a variety of local and national shops, restaurants and several supermarkets. The main shopping area has developed along the High Street and George Street. A parade of units at St. Mary's Walk made a contribution to retail facilities in Hailsham. The Quintons development, near the Vicarage Field Precinct, was opened in the late 1980s, creating a focus for shopping in Hailsham. The shopping centre was named after Quinton Hogg, Baron Hailsham of St. Marlebin. At the heart of the centre was the cooperative until its closure on 15 July 2011, following which it was replaced by an Asda supermarket. There is a Waitrose supermarket nearby in Vicarage Field and in North Street there is a Tesco supermarket which opened on 3 November 2008. Plans to redevelop the Quinton's Centre car park to include provision a new large food store. Additional units to the North Street frontage and a new car park deck were submitted for public consultation but this development has not taken place. Potential new retail developments Hailsham competes with nearby towns such as Eastbourne for both convenience goods shopping and higher order, durable goods shopping. A retail study commissioned by Wealdon District Council for the non-statutory local plan indicated that Hailsham Town Centre could support around 1,600 square metres net of additional convenience goods floor space by 2014. The study also indicated that there was scope in expenditure terms for 2,100 square metres net durable goods floor space in the town centre, within the main shopping area in Hailsham, as indicated in the Hailsham and Hellingly Master Plan. The council aims to improve the quality of shopping facilities. Hailsham Forward Following a government-commissioned report compiled by televisions, Queen of Shops Mary Portis 
Hailsham Town Council and the local Chamber of Commerce took the decision in September 2012 to form a town team, which was set up to take a closer look at ways to revitalize the town's high street and surrounding urban environment, increase footfall and spend within the town. Hailsham Forward's key actions for the next five years include a pedestrian-friendly high street, parking time restrictions, the creation of loading bays in the town centre, traffic wardens, a review of business rates and shop rents, improvements to shop frontages and signage, and the attraction and retention of a broader diversity of retail outlets to fill empty retail units in the town centre. Hailsham Street Market One of the Hailsham Town team's main initiatives since it was established in 2013 was the establishment of a regular town centre market. The market, which is based in Vicarage Field, is open between 9.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. every Saturday except for the Farmer's Market Saturday when it is held instead on the Thursday. Hailsham Farmers and Crafts Market established in 1998. Hailsham Farmers Market operates on the second Saturday of each month in the Cattle Market, Market Street, from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Local food producers and crafters offer a variety of goods, housing and development. Extensive development has taken place in Hailsham since 1945 by private developers with the northern part of the town now largely developed right up to the boundary with Helenley. Wealdon planning policies may result in further development in and around Hailsham, together with increased local infrastructure and services. The Hailsham and Hellingley Master Plan, submitted to Wealdon District Council as supplementary planning guidance in 2009 planned a holistic approach to the town's infrastructure, roads, sewerage and drainage, transport, retail, employment land, housing, healthcare, education and training, leisure, recreation and the arts. Among the master plan's proposals were long-term visualizations for the town's roads, including two major relief roads which would make the high street and town centre more pedestrian-friendly a community-based diagnostic and treatment centre with GP surgeries, and a community park complex. Hailsham Town Councillors have agreed to support plans for improved infrastructure, including roads, schools and healthcare provision, in light of proposed future new housing developments and will work with Wealdon District Council to develop an area action plan to ensure the required infrastructure in advance of any development. Education. Primary Hailsham has several primary schools, including Hawks Farm, Grovelands, Marshlands Academy and White House Academy. A new primary academy, Hailsham Academy, was scheduled to open in September 2015, to be housed in new buildings on land off Ingram's Way. Secondary The town has one secondary comprehensive school, Hailsham Community College, located in Battle Road, which achieved a specialist status of sports college, in 2006. Hailsham Community College was awarded the prestigious Sportsmark standard for its work in physical education and within the wider community. In June 2007 it gained the Healthy Schools Gold Standard in recognition of its work to support the health and well-being of the students. The town also has an independent secondary school, Bede School, formerly St. Bede School. In literature, the book Never Let Me Go uses the fictional Hailsham School as a background, although filming was done at Ham House, Surrey.